Well, alongside me is a delighted Paul Webber. Now, Paul, I, I hate to say it, but obviously it's been a while since you've had that winner over jumps, 400-odd days, I believe. So what are you thinking right now? I'm thinking about the advice that Mark Prescott told me many years ago when things aren't going well, counsel the Racing Post. <laughs> it's not your job to see what's not going right. Just look after your horses and keep straight ahead. But it's been a, an appallingly difficult six months. Mum died, everything went wrong, syndicates have got too old to have horses with us. So it, it, is, a, it is a challenge and um, just need to say a big thank you to the staff and the owners who've been so good. I could detect a, a great deal of emotion in your voice as you, you talk about this. Um, how, how difficult has it been on a personal level for you to, to keep, the, keep the faith, keep the belief? Well, it's difficult when you're going out to feed them every morning at 20 to 6, thinking, what more can I do? What, what have I not done? What am I overlooking? What's, what, what's going on? And you always hear wise people say, don't change anything and that. But the temptation to do something different is always there. But um, it, when, you, when you can't put your finger on it and the vets can't put their finger on it, you've just got to keep going. Well, what else can I do? Have you had a, a, a more challenging spell in your career than this? No doubt, no, no way, no way. And as I say, with also we've got to work out the future of the farm and things like that. So there are a lot of challenges around. And the one thing you mustn't rely on, on hood, I mean, you mustn't ask horses to do, is to get you out of a deep hole when you're in one, because the last thing they do is help you when you really need them. Well, what about this horse, though? I mean, anyone who turned up today at Huntingdon or looked at the race on paper, saw the first couple of runs and the company that you felt he was worthy of keeping, and thought, well, hang on a second, if this horse is right, what about today? Well, exactly, ran a lovely race at Sandown, went to entry slightly as the end of season party, you know, have a run in that race, and then disappointing this time, um, we did have to do a soft pallet on him after Ascot, but he, he, his two, two half brothers are rated 140 over fences, and that's where I hope one day yeah. he'll get to over fences. And what's been the turnaround since the last run and, and today? Well, he did have wind operation. But as also, simple as that? Yes, it was as simple as that. He had the window operation, sorry, the time before, yes. and then here he got stuck in the mud and he just disappointed the other day. But when nothing's going right, they'll come up with all sorts of reasons. <laughs> well, Paul, it's with great pleasure, I say, congratulations. Back in the winner's enclosure. Well, I have you here to do it, Rich. is great, really good. Well done. Thanks very much. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.